sailors and airmen of the Allied Expeditionary Force. You are about to embark upon the great crusade toward which we have striven these many months. The eyes of the world are upon you. The hopes and prayers of liberty-loving people everywhere march with you. In company with our brave allies and brothers in arms on other fronts, you will bring about the destruction of the German war machine, the elimination of Nazi tyranny over the oppressed peoples of Europe, and security for ourselves in a free world. Your task will not be an easy one. Your enemy is well-trained, well-equipped, and battle-hardened. In jeder Stunde, an jedem Tag, Sieg We're here for a part two of this blender modeling tutorial on how to model a grenade. So the last time we start off, we did the, the body frame right here of the grenade. So now we're going to start working on the top piece that goes right there. So... <laughs> At this point, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be start like taking the actual grenade and we're going to start working on the top handle piece right here. So we're going to start off with doing it low poly, getting at the general frame <laughs> tab and all that. I'm sorry if I, I'm sniffling a lot because I am, I actually have a cold today. I've actually catch a cold and I'm actually am sick today. So Please bear with me. Not really feeling well, but let's get started. So we're going to actually take the actual circle from the cylinder. We're going to take that. We're going to move that up basically to tell you the truth. And you're right, we're just going to go extrude right here. Up. <clears throat> extrude up like this and you're right we're going to try to start modeling that piece right there so from here we're going to go extrude up like that Go CTR inverse, hide. And you're right, we're just going to go into here and go scale that down like that, zero. And you're right, seriously move that out more right about, actually go extrude like that. And just go you right, scale this out like this. Go zero. And we want to model this one piece. You're right, right here. So you're right, what we, we're going to do is move that out a little bit like that. Go into here. Move that in like this. Go into here. And just add two segments like that. And from right here, we're just going to go extrude like this. Extrude. Just add another segment right here. And you're right, just do the exact same thing. Extrude. Extrude. Extrude, extrude, and just go, go in here, CTR, um, center, so we're just going to murder, mirror, like, we're going to take that and we're going to basically merge that, then from here, We're going to take the same piece right here that's going to be used right here. Go duplicate. Move that out. And you're right, like go front. Go into here. 
And you're right, we're just going to go into here and go scale that down right about there. And you're right, just go scale that out by the y-axis like that. And you're right, this is what we would have right here. And you're right, that's what that's the piece what we want to try to make. So we're actually trying to make that piece very fast and very efficiently. Extrude. So from right here, how many vertices are here? 27 vertices. So from here to here, there's 27 vertices. So for 27 vertices, there should be around 27 segments. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Around 25 we're going to use to start off with. And you're right, I'm just going to go into here and go loft. like that.
so you're right we would do, we would basically model this piece right here and this is the actual piece right here that's going to be used mainly for the actual thing right here and this is like going to be p a p the piece right here so that's like kind of like grenade the grenade piece that's going to be used you're right for the launching piece right here so now since we're done that we're we're actually probably going to end up going out of this and go go out of here see if you are normal All high. I'm gonna go duplicate. Screwed. Screwed. Just go Bavel right here. we have to do is now do this piece that comes out right about here so you're right we would go into here and I'm just going to duplicate this piece bring that out a little bit like that zero like that so right about there
doesn't really matter. You're not going to see the close-up of it anyway, so doesn't really anyways matter, pretty much. See, right where you're just going to go in here. So we're going to do that bump ridge right there. And you're right, I'm just going to go into here. Okay, perfect. Just one here. And you're right, I'm just going to put that at cursor. Duplicate, CTR mirror, Y axis, like that. And you're right. CTR normal. And that's the first part of it. So now what we need to do is we need to start doing, you're right, the, the holes that's going to be right here. So you're right. So what we would do is go into the side right here. <laughs> go cursor to selected. And you're right, I'm just going to, like, add, you know, a cylinder. In line with you. Right, move that right about here. Duplicate right about here. Excuse me for a sec. <coughs> Sorry about that. Like I was saying, I have a cold. Triangulated face. <sighs> Probably bring that down to around 14, like that. redo that again have an idea so I'm just gonna do a cylinder align it with view have it end gone scale that down to around right here place that right here right here
inset, inset again. Probably don't need these. Just trying to say, like, you probably don't even need all that section right there for the thing. <laughs> very fast and very easy. what I did. So that's the first part of this. Cursor reflector. Duplicate CTR mirror. Y-axis. So yeah, we're going to hit extrude right here.
Okay. Say so right where. just gonna have it like this and then then you you can add everything onto there after but like yeah you're you're gonna probably put this like this and then we're, we're you you're right we we'll, we'll start with the plane we would draw out the general shape and dyna dynamics in the thing itself to get out the general shape of this and you're right, we would add the segments onto here to get it in the right way, right efficient way. Like that. And we're gonna go solidify.
in here, right, we would hit, we would go into here, we would hit supply, right here. And you're right, we would take these right here. Just right here, what, 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 what we want to try to do. Actually, it's probably better, you're right, to subdivide that like that and just work on one side and just put the other side on the other side. It's a little trick. So what we would do is we would put a segment in the middle right here and just only work on one side. And when we're, when we're done the one side, then you're right, we would duplicate symmetry it and just duplicate the other half at the bottom. So you're right, we would go into here. And you're right, kind of do like a ledge right here. So you're right, we would go into here, uh, kind of scale that down like this, where that's rounded. Just go into CTR, hide. So, you're right, we would have that kind of cover this in a way like that, pretty much. Exact.
sorry about that again. I'm really sorry about that. I keep sneezing, but what can I do? I'm sick today, so I can't really do that much today. So, that's a grenade piece. Right there. Like that. And then you're right, you would go in into here and kind of add, add a line segment right there. That just kind of separates that, I, I mean, in a way. So once we're done that, you're right, we would kind of add something like that. And you're right, we would just go in into here. So that's already removed. So that thing is already done. Like that. So now what I'm going to be doing, honestly, is designing the piece that's going to be going right here. So I'm just going to take, you write this piece, go to CTR cursor to selected, and you write, I'm just going to go into here and go CTR, go into here, CTR mirror, hide, and you write, like, just add... So I'm just going to take that down, 
sorry about that. So, and just add circle. Just go into here by view. And bring that down to around six. Eight, actually. So when I'm modeling this, I got to kind of keep in mind the actual thing itself. So you're right, I'm going to probably take this, go cursor to selected right here. Duplicate, C tier scale, offset, right here. Right, go CTR cursor offset, CTR selected cursor, CTR mirror, and you're right, I'm just going to go into here. Just hit loft right there.
just going to go into here, just like that. So that's what I would do. Then you're right, I would go in into here, which is just a little bit long. So I'm just gonna go into here. Our mirror.
almost done. So, almost done on this. So, the next thing I'm going to do is go in into here and just go hit remove doubles and just bring that up like that. Like that. So when we go into here and we're just gonna go <coughs> here and just hit bridge like that. Bring twist like that and just add a couple segments in there. Now in part two of this, we're going to be wor working you right on uh, the actual, basically, the, the clip pin that's going to go right here. That's going to separate this thing. So we're probably going to end up taking you right like, I would say, this, this right here. Go duplicate right here. Actually, I got a better idea. I'm going to leave that the way it is. And that's already done. So yeah, that's already done like that. I mean, I might do a little bit of editing like this. Hide. And you know what, well, you know... I would say, you know, I'm just going to go into here. Go into here. Enter region. F space. I had to edit a lot of these. Go front. Hide.
this go into here. So I made, I did, I forgot to separate this object right here. So it didn't really did very well. So yeah, but other than that, it looks like that pretty much. Just go into here. Just gonna go into here in a region X face. X face like that. And that's what I did right there. And this is, you write the actual grenade itself and it's already done. So you might have to do a kind of a couple like adjustments to get it to look like the original, but other than that, yeah, it's done. I mean, there is a couple things you can do. I mean, on the next tutorial, we're gonna be going into more depths on trying to get this to look even more better. So we might, you know, work on this on the next tutorial getting this to bend like this and go go into a swoop shape and shaping up the the pulling latch holder pin and then on the next tutorial you're right we're going to start working on the pin that goes on the side right here that you pull right out that goes right about there that you would actually throw so we're going to work on on the next tutorial, the, the pulling lash pin that goes right about there where you would throw. So you're right, we're gonna work more on we're definitely gonna work more on that right there and work more on the pulling lash pin that goes right about there. So that's gonna be on the next tutorial, I would say. And on the next tutorial, you're right, we're gonna start working on this piece that goes right about here. So work on a pulling lash pin that goes right here and start working on other things like that. And that's it, we're, we're, we're almost done. Then we would work on this side piece, getting that all done and all out like that. And then that's it, we're, we're, we're done the entire modeling the grenade. And then it, then we're, I just might just render it and do a final showdown and that's it, we're done. I mean, it's pretty much, pretty much 90 to 95% completed, but this is how you do your right, a World War II grenade and how you model a sophisticated World War II grenade. So I hope you like my tutorial. This is part two. So part three, we're gonna work on another piece and that's gonna be the pulling pin and try to perfect it a little bit more. And that's it. So please subscribe and please give me likes. Thank you, goodbye. Soldiers, sailors, and airmen of the Allied Expeditionary Force. You are about to embark upon the Great Crusade toward which we have striven these many months. The eyes of the world are upon you. The hopes and prayers of liberty-loving people everywhere march with you. In company with our brave allies and brothers in arms on other fronts, you will bring about the destruction of the German war machine, the elimination of Nazi tyranny over the oppressed peoples of Europe, and security for ourselves in a free world. Your task will not be an easy one. Your enemy is well-trained, well-equipped, and battle-hardened. In jeder Stunde, an jedem Tag!